Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Today my video is about parts of speech. In today video I will discuss noun and compound noun. If we think in this universe we if take we take a random example like we say in our surrounding I am taking some example like we say there is school things that, that are around us. There is a school, there is a mosque or masjid. There is a boy, there is a cat, there is college, There, as we can say, a cow. There is pen. There is, we can say, pencil. There is hospital. There is home. So, if we quote these examples and we take a random uh, nouns so there is there are actually four things and noun there are basically these are all places this one is a place mosque is a place this one is a place and hospital is a place there are either a place or a person like we say boy why there is either its place or person or there are animal like we have cat we have cow or we have things like pen is a thing pencil is a thing so in our surrounding we have mainly four things either it's a place I either it's a person in first example as we see as we observe as we inspect that either there is a place place are places there are person are persons there are place person thing thing are things and there is place person thing are animal are animal this way of writing is a unique way of writing whenever this is written so this means singular as well as plural if this is mentioned, so it means single place. If this is, is considered, so it means plural places. This person means single person. And if this is mentioned, so it means plural. If this is mentioned, so it means single thing. And if this is mentioned, so it means plural. Same is the case with animal and animals. So noun is the name of place person thing or animal and now we have these four attribute we have these four things either its place either its person either its animal or thing so noun is defined as the name of a place person thing or animal this was the definition of the noun now my second section of the today video is compound what a compound noun is like you people may have re read the definition of compound in chemistry that whenever there are two substances and they are combined so same is the case here for compound noun a lot of people they make they commit a mistake while defining compound noun 
then defined compound noun is the noun which is formed by the combination of two noun this is only a part of the compound noun i will make it clear to you people that how this definition is not valid in a broader sense just for an example are a part of the definition this is okay but if we define it in broader sense that is not okay i have defined here noun compound noun in two methods the first one is it is formed by combining words word what is because we can say noun is a word verb is a word the, similarly we can say adjective is a word preposition is a word when we define part, part of speech so for all part of speech we use the use word so a compound noun is formed by combining word whenever words are combined so compound noun is formed or formed by combining different parts of speech when different parts of speech are compound uh, combined they form a compound noun like when noun and noun they combine they form a compound noun when noun and word combine they form a compound noun i have put it here nine cases in which we will study how compound noun are formed the first case is compound noun is formed by combination of noun plus noun when two noun are combined they form a compound noun like we have example of bedroom these two are noun and they combine to form a compound noun there is also we say noun plus preposition or adverb like we have example of passer by passer by or hanger on so this is the second case third whenever noun and adjective are combined so they form a compound noun poet is a noun livret as an adjective so when these two are combined they form a compound noun whenever noun and verb are combined they form a, comba, a compound noun like air is a noun and lift is a verb so this also form a compound noun whenever fifth number adjective and noun are combined they form a compound noun like i have given here example of high school whenever adjective and verb are combined they form a compound noun like white is an adjective washing is a verb so these two are combined to form a compound noun seventh case when verb and noun combine they form a compound noun like washing is a verb and machine is a noun so this is the case of verb plus noun eighth case when your verb plus preposition are adverb are adverb occur like we say get together or warm up so here verb and this is preposition here verb and this is adverb and the final case is verb plus preposition plus verb this is verb this is in its preposition and this is another verb so these are the cases in which we discuss how compound nouns are formed so that de definition was wrong people they define compound noun as a noun which is formed by the combination of two noun no that is not correct there is only a case of compound noun that is only a case of compound noun the proper definition and the broader definition of compound noun is formed by combining words or formed by combining different parts of speech this is a part of speech this is also part of speech this noun is a part of speech this is also part of speech this is also part of speech these two are part of speech these two are part of speech these two are parts of speech 
adverb plus adjective plus verb is a part of speech this verb plus noun these two are parts of speech all these are parts of speech now i am coming to the kinds of compound noun like here we have written this bedroom together if we inspect these so different if we inspect here i am coming to kinds of kinds of compound noun what are the kinds of compound noun kinds of compound noun this question arises because if we see here we have written bed and room together passer by is written together air left is written together similarly there are other examples in which we have written these together like we say passer by then we have bedroom similarly we have air left and there are different example in which we have written these from far apart like we say high school washing machine washing machine white washing white washing is also another example and there are some example in which we have written there is a hyphen in wall like we say get together get together warm up and mother and Allah. so this show us that actually there are three kinds of compound noun this one is called passer by our bedroom our air lift is close compound noun closed compound noun because the words they are put together so that why that's why they are called close compound noun here we have written the world far apart from e from each other so these are called open compound noun open compound noun because the words they are put away from each other so that's why they are called open they are open they are close to each other and they are open and the final one there is a hyphen in word so they are called hyphenated hyphenated compound noun if i summarize my today video and the first portion of my video we discuss what a noun is noun is the name of place person thing or animal compound noun is formed by combining word our compound noun are formed by combining different parts of speech then we discuss nine cases in which how compound nouns are formed and finally in the last part of the video we discuss kinds of compound noun that are open compound noun close compound noun and hyphenated compound noun if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you